Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer. It comes courtesy of guys at NerdSense. Thank you guys so much. And it's a mystery beer, obviously. Uh, no, no brewery decided to start uh, manufacturing and packaging their beers like this. Um, so I'm coming off of uh, a cold, um, which I then also be I had wanted to do kind of like a palate reset and drink so many huge beers. And um, so I haven't had a beer in nine or ten days. Um, although I did have a session IPA the other day, but that doesn't count. Um, and I'm pretty much over the cold, so I think I can smell and taste up okay to do a mystery beer. But if I do horrible, I'm going to totally blame it on the cold. Uh, and I'm I'm hoping that having not really had a beer uh, in a while, that um, it might help my palate to pick up nuance instead of just being like so used to these huge, big flavors. Uh, it might help me, help me uh, do a mystery beer. Let's find out. Ah, it's a dark beer. I was hoping it was going to be a dark beer. All right, so that head is going down pretty quickly. Just rinse out this glass again. Is that a nutty aroma? Look how dirty that glass is. I am the worst. And I just bought some new... Um, like all natural dish soap, uh, thinking maybe that would help <laughs> with how dirty the glasses are, have been. Um, anyway, so the head's going down pretty quickly, and there's some lacing, which makes me think it's a little higher ABV, and maybe some adjuncts that have oil in them, uh, and that's why the head's going down so quickly. Uh, it's pretty. It's super dark brown uh, and then black in the middle, but there is like brown, uh, a little bit of red too. So color-wise, the lacing, the head going out quickly, it, it's kind of tricking me. Is it a bigger beer? Because I associate like these bigger stouts, the lacing, the head goes down quickly, but a little bit darker of a color. But right now I'm thinking stout. Let's get into the aroma. A lot of familiar things. Roastiness, chocolate, some coffee. And I got tripped up. It, it has like a nutty quality. It's like, it's not straight like peanut butter or almonds or something that I'm getting, but it, there's, it's, it's like nuttiness and bread, like fresh baked bread, um, cr very crusty. Um, so it's it's interesting. I don't pair those things together often, but that's the best I can get with what that aroma is. Okay, Bruno. My wife's home. Go get her, Bruno. Go get her. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting out of it. Uh, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Hmm. It's approaching syrupy, so I definitely think it's a, a higher ABV. Relatively sweet, which makes sense because of how heavy and syrupy it is. Oh. It's like light syrupy. Dark berries for sure. That crusty, nutty thing I was getting the aroma. I'm not getting a taste. I don't I don't really taste the nut. Like I don't think it has a almond or pecan or whatever adjunct. There's a good level of chocolate in this. I got more coffee in the aroma. <clears throat> There's some coffee bitterness in the aftertaste, though. But I definitely got more coffee in the aroma. Not that it was, like, huge coffee. Like, if, it, if this has coffee in it, I, I don't think it's particularly big coffee beer. But if it has chocolate in it, 
like the taste. I'm, I'm still going back and forth. I think it has an addition of cacao nibs or chocolate or something. I'll tell you what, it's really good. Whatever this beer is, I like this a lot. Um, man. Kind of has a cola quality to the taste too. That that level of sweetness. See now I'm getting some of that nuttiness I got in the aroma. This is gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna say it's pretty high ABV. I, I'm gonna say double digits. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say ten. I'm gonna say ten. But notoriously ABV I'm, I'm not good at. It's good. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say wow. It's just, it's just. Like, I'm sorry. It's a good beer. I don't know if it has adjuncts in it though. What's giving it that cola? I don't drink enough soda. Like, what is that? I don't. It's not. It's not something obvious like vanilla or again coffee or. But there is this little extra chocolate in there, so maybe it does have chocolate. I'm going to say, this is my guess, 10% ABV, it's a stout with no adjuncts. I think they're trying to trick me and not have anything unique about this beer other than it's just a nice stout. But then what is this cola thing? Whatever. I, I, I doubt they mixed a stout with cola, but it has that cola. And I, I remember the last time I had cola. Night Shift uh, Dynasty, maybe? And also, I totally think there's an adjunct that I'm missing. Well, you coming back in, buddy? Hi. Right. Yeah, just barge right in. All right. Not bad. Pom Pom from Trillium Imperial Milk Stout. 10.4% ABV, so I feel really good about saying 10% ABV. And... Um, so I got the ABV for sure. I mean, almost dead on. I don't think I would have said 0.4. Um, I didn't think there was additional adjuncts, but that makes sense. Maybe some lactose because that there is that extra level of sweetness, which I did say. I don't get, and I made a point to say this, I don't get vanilla in it. And usually lactose, I get a little bit of vanilla. So I can't say I'm mad at myself for not getting the lactose. Um it's relatively fresh. It's it's just barely over two months old, which for a big stout is, in my opinion, totally fine. Excuse me. Um, maybe like that, a little bit of like cola e was the lactose. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I feel pretty good. I said no adjuncts, but I did think there was an adjunct, and it was end up being lactose. So that's cool. I would explain why it wasn't just a hundred percent straight. Imperial style. There was something else going on that was not, as I said, big. It wasn't a big addition of coffee or vanilla or cherries or something that would maybe be more identifiable, but just it's a milk style and it has that lactose in it as well, uh, which again would explain the sweetness, but I don't get any of that vanilla. And although I said syrupy, I don't get like a creaminess that I associate with the lactose, but uh, yeah, good beer. I, I have I had Pom Pom before? I don't remember. But thank you guys for sending it. Check out the Nerd Sense guys. They're awesome. Check me out on Instagram on tap. No hype beer reviews in both those places. Please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.